you need to pay attention to this button. It allows you to select a resolution for the game window. Keep in mind that if you change the size of the window, the resolution won't change, unless you choose the free aspect mode. In that mode, the resolution is determined by the width and the height of the game window. You can also create a custom resolution. And all that I mentioned before is just for testing here in the Unity editor. The final result will depend on the screen and the resolution that each user has. Now we will see how to automatically scale a canvas with the screen size. Subscribe to support this content and let's start solving this problem. I suggest you select the resolution of the game window according to your current resolution. Let's create a new canvas object. Inside I will create a text, an image and a button. So these elements are going to look this way when you run the application on your computer. But if you change to a different resolution, you'll notice the problem with the UI elements. They currently have a fixed size and they won't look the same in different resolutions. When you create a new canvas, this object comes with a component called Canvas Scaler. Change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. I always set my system resolution as the reference resolution and choose if the scaling will be using the resolution width, the height, or a mix of both. Now, when you change to another resolution, if the aspect ratio of the resolution is the same as the reference resolution, the result will be pretty much the same. You can select the free aspect and change the size of the window. Notice that in this case, the elements change the size only if the width of the window changes. If we change this parameter to one, the size of the elements depends on the height of the window, but not the width. If you set this parameter to 0.5, both width and height contribute to determine the size of the elements. The Canvas Scaler does a very nice job scaling the elements, but you also have to work with anchors and pivot points of the UI elements to fully define the layout you want for your application. For example, how can we make the text always be at the top of the screen? What about making the button stay at the bottom of the screen? Let's select the text object, change the anchor to top center, and then change the vertical position to zero. For the button, you can set the anchor to bottom center and then also change the vertical position to zero. Now, if the size of the screen changes, these elements will always be aligned at the top and at the bottom of the screen. Subscribe to this channel so we can see each other again in the next video.